So to calculate the mean, we add all these numbers up. Uh, 80.6 plus 30.3 plus 60.7 plus 88.5 plus 19.9 and then we divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and that gives 280 over 5 which is 56. Question 2. So the mean weight of 5 boys was 38.5. So the boys total weight is 5 times 38.5. And the girls total is 5 times 32.4 gives us 192.5 and 162 kilograms. So the total for the whole group is found by adding these two together. And that gives 354.5 kilograms. So the mean for the group is 354.5 divided by 10 because there are 5 boys and 5 girls and it's 35.45 kilograms. The mean height of 4 girls was 1.48 metres. The total of the 4 girls is 4 times 1.48 which gives us 5.92 meters. When a new girl joined the group the mean height increased by two centimeters which is to say that the mean height is now 1.58 so that's 148 centimeters and if we add two onto that we get 150 centimeters. So what we're saying is that the total height of four is 4 times 1.48. We now know that the mean height of the 5 is 1.5 metres, so 5 times 1.5 gives us 7.50 metres. So the, to find the height of the new girl, we subtract 7.5 metres, take away 5.92, and that gives us 1.58 meters. Part A. The data is already ordered for us. So the mode is the one that occurs oftenest, and that's 10. There are four tens. The range is nice and simple as well. That's the highest, take away the lowest. And the median is the middle number. So there are many pieces of data. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 plus 1 is 12. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the, this is the middle number. We must have the same number above. That's 5 numbers above. And we've got 5 numbers below. So the median then is 8. Now this data is not ordered, so we'll need to order it. And the smallest number is 65, so we've got 65, 65, 65. Seventy one and seventy one, seventy two, seventy five, seventy six. Now we can do the same thing as we did above. So the mode is the one that occurs oftenest, and you can see that we have three sixty fives. The range, that's the highest number. 
we could be the lowest number. So 11 and the median is the middle number. Now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's halfway between the fifth and the sixth one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's in here. This is where the median is found. And we have five pieces of data above and five pieces of data below. So in between 69 and 70, rather in between 69 and 71, we've got the number 70. So what I'm going to do here is add in two columns. I'm going to add in the frequency AFX column. So here is the F column, the frequency, and here is the X column, the score. And also I'm going to add in the cumulative frequency column, which is useful. So uh, the first entry in the FX column is 1 times 3, which is 3, then 3 times 4 is 12, 8 times 5 is 40, 5 sixes are 30, 2 sevens are 14, and 1 eight is 8. Cumulative frequency column, I'm going to use this column here. So 1 is the first number in the cumulative frequency column, then 1 plus 3 is 4, then 4 plus 8 is 12, and 12 plus 5 is 17, 17 plus 2 is 19, 19 plus 1 is 20. And that's the number at the bottom of this column as well. The next thing to do is to work out the total at the bottom of this column. So we've got 13, 40, 70. 12 and 8 is 20, so that's 90, 104, 107 then. So, the mode is nice and easy. We look for the largest number in the frequency column, which is an 8, and then read back. So the, f the mode is 5, part B. The median score, well, we've got 20 entries. The median or middle entry is found between the 10th and the 11th. Now, I hope you can see that the 10th and the 11th lie in this group here, which means that the median is also a 5. And the mean score is found by dividing 107 by 20. And that's 5.35. Write down the median number of correct answers. Now that's the middle number. So we've got 15 students, total of 15 numbers. 15 plus 1 is 16 divided by 2 is 8. So it's the eighth number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The median then Now, the median is also called the second quartile, and that's Q2. Part B. We want to work out the upper and lower quartiles. I should say quartiles, not quartiles. Uh, so the lower quartile is the median of the bottom half of the data. So let's so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven plus one is eight divided by two is four. So we're looking for the fourth number along. One, two, three, four, there it is there. So that's Q1 is four. And we can just check by counting. So there are three numbers below the Q1 and there are three numbers above Q1. We want one, two, three, four. So here is Q2, uh, Q3 rather. Uh, it's not 4, it's 19. And we can see there, we've got three numbers here and three numbers here. So that's the data evenly broken up. Semi-interquartile range. Semi-interquartile range is found by using the formula Q3 take away Q1 over 2. So it's 19 take away 4 over 2. 15 over 2 is 7.5. First thing to do is to calculate the mean, called x bar. So if we add these numbers up together, we get a total of 28, and there are 7 of them, so 28 over 7 is 4. x minus x bar. 
Well, so it's one, take away four, minus three. Now, minus three squared is nine. Two take away four is minus two, minus two squared is four. Four take away four is zero, zero squared is zero. And we've got another one here. Five take away four is one. One squared is one, and another one below that. And then seven take away four is three, and three squared is nine. So if we, if we total this last column, we have 24. Standard deviation, sigma x minus x bar, all squared over n minus 1. And we want to square root that. Now this here is sigma x minus x bar, all squared. And there are seven numbers, so n is 7. It's um, 24 over 7 minus 1. 7 minus 1 is 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. Line of best fit. Uh, find the equation of the line of best fit. Well, what we're going to do is we're certainly going to have this as the value C. Um, and the coordinates of that point are 0 along 10 up. So I'm going to use that to calculate the gradient. And I'll use this point here, I think. That point there is 10 along 35. So the gradient then is y2 minus y1, so it's 35 minus 10 over 10 minus 0. That's 25 over 10, and it's 2.5 y equals mx plus c, y equals 2.5x plus 10. Probability, what's the probability of getting a 7? Well, there's only one 7, but there are 10 numbers, so it's 1 out of 10. Probability of getting an even number, well there are 5 even numbers, and 10 total, so that's 1 out of 2. Probability of getting a number less than 3. Well, that's 1 and 2, which is 2 out of a total of 10, which is 1 out of 5. Um, part 1, probability of getting a faulty one. It's 1, 4, 4. Out of 8,000, we should really simplify that. That's 77 out of 4,000. What's the probability of getting one that's not faulty? Well, not faulty will be um, 8,000. Take away 144, which gives us 7,000. 856. So it's 7856 over 8000, and I think we can divide both of them by 2. And that's 3928, and that'll divide by 2 as well. My goodness, both, oh, so it's 1964 over 2,000. We'll just keep dividing by 2. We get 982 over 1,000, which is 0 0.982.